You see, I have his hands. See, I have his hands. You see, I have his hands. See, I have his hands. You see, I have his hands, and I thank him for giving me his palms to recite prayers in and to wash over my face. I can no longer stand to watch my father break at every breaking news update of his home. The land in which he had grown, Ya Iraq. This war is one I understand. Though I was not born onto that desert land of date trees and stone buildings that once conveyed solidarity. I didn't need to be. See? Destruction lives inside me like a captive Bedouin searching for freedom through desolate sounds of mandolins, lutes and ouds. A constant state of escapism, a constant state of escapism, a constant state of escapism. But there is an algorithm for this prison. It's the vision that our hearts could beat to the same rhythm as theirs to share, like my great-grandmother once did. She would house strangers and feed the neighbor's children regardless of their status, color, or religion. While you 
or passion, no reason While I fight for freedom with hints of denialism With hints of denialism, with hints of denialism Because it only feels like a dream But these dreams would echo back the screams of civilian casualties Syria, Iraq, Iran, Palestine, Afghanistan, reality so how could we just continue to Hammurabi, take eyes for eyes, desensitize, stigmatize, ostracize, no I will, moralize, empathize, synchronize and I will swim just like my father would want me to. Not only so I could tread waters and keep myself afloat but so I could swim and freestyle and butterfly fly while I paint these words from my heart with fiery breaststrokes and depressed notes Ma kushe mithel horia There is nothing like freedom ليس لي القدر على ترويضك أو تجينك أو تهذيب غرائزك الأولى هذه مهمة مستحيلة لقد جربت ذكائي معك وجربت أيضا غبائي فلم تنفع معك هداية ولا غواية خليك بدائية كما أنت خليك مزاجية كما أنت خليك هجومية كما أنت لا تصدقي ما يقوله الرجل عن نفسه بأنه هو الذي يصنع القصائد ويصنع الأطفال إن المرأة هي التي تكتب الشعر والرجل هو الذي يوقعه والمرأة هي التي تنجب الأطفال والرجل هو الذي يوقع في مستشفى الولادة بأنه أصبح أبا ليس لي القدرة على تغيير طبيعتك لا كتبي تنفعك ولا قناعاتي تقنعك ولا نصائح الأبوية تفيدك أنت مولكة الفوضى والجنون وعدم الانتماء فظلي كما أنت أنت شجرة الأنوثة التي تكبر في العتمة ولا تحتاج إلى شمس وماء أنت أميرة البحر التي أحبت كل الرجال ولم تحب أحدا وضاجعت كل الرجال ولم تضاجع أحدا أنت البدوية التي ذهبت مع كل القبائل وعادت عذراء فظلي كما أنت سمراء يا حلم الطفولة وتمنع الشفة البخيلة لا تقربي مني وظلي فكرة لغدي جميلة قلبي مليء بالفراغ الحلو فاجتنبي دخوله أخشى عليه أن يغص بالقبل المطيبة البليلة ويغيب في الآفاق أبرى الهجب من عين كحيلة ما أخذ منك البهاء ومن غدائرك الجديلة ضوءا فديت الضوء يولد طيل افتتك العليلة ويقول للبسمة في صغرك لوني زهر الخميلة فالأرض بعدك يقظة من هجأة الحلم الثقيلة طربت كأن سن ابتسامة قوة الأمل الضئيلة سمراء ظلي لذة بين لذائذ مستحيلة 
صلي على شفتي شوقهما في جفني ذهولا ظل الغد المنشود يسبق من الممات إليه ليلة Nothing has taught me more about life than movement. It's the essence of life. For me, movement is living, it's liberating, it's amazing. It's part of my identity. Those who know me know me for my passion of movement. But I've become this figure now that I never wanted to be. People are impinning on my freedom. I feel like I can't even escape anymore. People don't understand that I don't do this for them. I do it for me. I don't do it to showboat or get attention. I love doing it. Movement derives from a love of knowledge. And the more I do it, the more I learn about everything. The philosophy of movement for me is that your body belongs to you and nobody else. Nobody else can force you to do a jump that you don't want to do. Nobody can force you to move in a certain way. So no one can control your body but you. No one should force you to perform a jump that you don't want to do. You know, people always look at me and see me doing what I do, but they don't understand that when I do this, I feel a sense of achievement. This is how I break out of the chains of society. You know, the thing is as well is that people always want the easy way out. We live in an escapist society that has built people who don't want to go through pain, who don't want to go through tough times. It's all about how can I achieve something in the quickest way possible. They think, how can I do this without experiencing as much pain as possible? People don't understand that. For me, this is an escape from that mentality. This is how I break free and am able to connect with my body and understand it. It's a form of meditation. You don't ask someone who's meditating to record themselves, do you? You don't because it's kind of stupid. It's a stupid thing to ask someone to do. Yet when I practice my art, people think it's okay and I want to be recorded, you know? Like I'm showing off. You know, the saddest thing about all of this is that movement is the truth. And some people can't get in touch with that because they've completely given away their bodies. They're busy chasing material things or addicted to fast food and we rarely go outside anymore. Some have given their minds away to video games or their eyes away to mobile phones. I mean, my parents can't even talk to me without being distracted by their phones. So for me, all I have left is my movement and my stories. You will always have old men with white hair that tell us that our stories are not extraordinary enough and have no originality. They all suffer from superiority complexes and don't understand that our generation is special. That our artistic expression is special. You will always have cultural snobs that tell us that they understand what true artistic expression is and attempt to show you that. But all they want is to make themselves feel important and relevant through your work. Others think they know you as an artist, but they don't know you because you represent your art. You are your art. So if you are real to yourself, then that is all that matters. And what movement has taught me is that you shouldn't be afraid, is that you should take those leaps that you're most afraid of because they show you who you really are. That's where you learn the most about who you really are on the inside because if you don't, you continuously wait and wait and that fear continuously builds and builds and then you're stuck there wondering why you didn't do that jump. The idea is to just jump.